here at Darius Johnson Odom and uh, a tough loss against North Carolina. You guys, they kind of punched you in the mouth early. Was it was it kind of too much to come back from? Uh, yeah, we we, uh, we was down a little bit too much. Uh, it was 40, 15 and a half. We dug a hole for ourselves and uh, we tried to fight back, but you know. When you're down that much, it's kind of hard to fight back in 20 minutes. You guys have come back from a lot of deficits in the Big East. What was said at halftime when you see it 40 to 15? Uh, yeah, we just got to come out and play hungry. Um, they was getting all the loose balls, offensive rebounds, and they were just making, you know, we wasn't pressuring them, pressuring them at all, and they were getting what they wanted to get. And um, so when, when you have a team like that, you know, you just got to put a little more effort into it. You guys showed a lot of life in the second half. What's it mean? Obviously, you were down, and, and it was a tough to come back, but Buzz is still coaching you guys up, still subbing people, trying to get the right peop five people on the court. What does that mean to you to see Buzz is still fighting no matter what the deficit is? Uh, I think it's great to know that he, he's not going to give up on his players because, you know, anything can happen. And we, we almost cut it to where we wanted, but, uh, you know, a couple, couple calls there, a couple plays that they had, you know, made it hard for us to cut the, the lead down to where we wanted. So, uh, you know, when you see Coach Buzz just fighting like that, it always makes a player want to keep playing harder. You know, making it to the Sweet 16, obviously you're coming back next year. Um, a, a tough loss. Do you think feel like you can learn from this, obviously, to say, hey, next time if we're in this position, we know, we're know we going to know what to do, and you'll be a senior next year, and, and you kind of have to go through the tough times to get to the top of the mountain? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we, we're going to bring back a lot of people that just played in this tournament. So I think it's good for the young guys to understand what, what we do and how the tournament is. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not, you know, mad at all about the team I've been on today, this year. You know, we made it to the Sweet 16. A lot of people didn't expect us to do it. And uh, a lot of people expect, you know, us to be out the first round and didn't even know that we was going to be in the tournament. So I'm, I'm very proud to be part of this team. First Sweet 16 and since 2003 with Dwayne Wade, what are you going to learn from this and take from these group of guys? I mean, obviously a great group of guys. What are you going to remember from these uh, players? Uh, how hard they fought. We fought extremely hard at times. Uh, and that's what we did best. And, uh, you know, I, I love them for it. You know, we worked extremely hard this past season, off season, and um, hopefully we can do it again next year. Looking at this off season, what do you feel like you have to work on individually in your own game? Obviously, you're going to be your senior. Do you think there's more of a leadership role? Obviously, going to be taking place. Yeah, definitely, definitely more of a leadership role. Getting the young guys ready for the upcoming season. Um, doing little things just to help the young guys, bringing them to the gym with me. So more of a leadership role is what I think I need to work on. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate it.